Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker and today we're going to go over the 2020 Sabre 36 BHQ. If you're not familiar with it, this is a mid bunk floor plan and I personally love mid bunks because it gives you the beautiful rear living that you want as an adult and you still have sleeping space whether it's for friends, family, kids, doesn't matter. You have a ton of sleeping space in here and you're not giving up the back half of the camper. As you will see, we have dual opposing slides really helping to open up this main living area, allowing for your kitchen island as well as more space in the living room itself. If we look up at the ceiling, we'll see two rows of LED lights helping it be nice and bright in here. You have the light fixture directly over the island, a 42 inch ceiling fan, ducted AC, and you will also see crown molding with accent lighting along both sides. On the driver's side, or the campside slide rather, we're not going to be, uh, this is not a motorhome, so this would be your campside, but you will see the dinette here. Um, you can easily sit four people in this dinette, no problem, gives you a great spot to eat, and of course my favorite part is the fact it is on the campsite, meaning you get to look out to your campsite. You'll also see the roller shades on there, which are fantastic, they work very well. I like that they're beige, not black, because that way at night when you close them down, it doesn't feel you know dark and closed in. Also, if you take a look underneath the dinette, you will see huge storage. Now it's not on any roller uh, ball track or anything, so you know you just you kind of lift it up like that to pull it out. Same thing to put it back in, kind of lock it in place. But those are huge storage areas, maximizing that space underneath the dinette. Making our way back a little bit further, you get into the Thomas Paine Collection theater seating. Extremely comfortable. Also, you will see right here in the cup holders, you, they do light up, which is kind of cool. Uh, also, it has massage feature and heat. So, do a little bit of cold camping, you want to kind of sit back and relax, you know, after a long day, turn on that heat, turn on the massage feature. It's, uh, you know, you just feel a little bit more like you're at home. You also have some cup holders in the center there, as well as a spot for your remotes. And you will see dual USB ports right over here to the side in case you need to plug in any electronics. Along the back wall is the sofa or love seat. This is a tri-fold sofa, so this gives you additional sleeping space too if you need to sleep an adult or two back here. You will see night or, uh, end tables rather on both sides with some cubby holes in them. You have electrical outlets and USB ports on both sides, windows all the way around, wall sconces here, plus your puck lights. It's one thing Sabre did really well this year is they really brightened things up. They gave you a lot of lighting. So again, at night, you don't feel closed in. Along the top is additional storage with the fluted glass there on the front. Taking a look at the off camp side slide. Storage all across the top. I'll open that up so you can see it's actually pretty deep storage there. Underneath is the TV and multimedia center. This is a DVD player. It's also Bluetooth capable. And you have the fireplace underneath that, which not only looks great, but is also a space heater, helping to take the chill off in this main living space uh, on a little bit chillier day. In the very center of the kitchen, as I mentioned, is the island. You'll notice the solid surface countertops, beautiful high-end countertops there. The high-rise industrial style faucet. On the front, you'll see electrical outlets, USB ports, all sorts of plug-ins there. And if you make your way around the other side, you will see the drawers. You have a bank of three full extension ball bearing drawers, plus the storage here underneath, and you will see the apron front sink. Now it is undermounted because you have the solid surface, that apron front again just kind of gives it that nice residential look. Back on the other side here, Big lit pantry, so plenty of space in there, which I absolutely love. You'll also see that these shelves don't come all the way to the front. So if you need to put a taller item in there, like a broom or a Swiffer, something like that, it has space for it. More storage, you have your microwave here, your hood underneath, the, the subway tile backsplash. There's a light, a little dark. There we go. Like I said, they did a great job with the lighting. Electrical outlet here. Recessed three burner cooktop. This just folds up and back like so. It's a Furion cooktop if you're not familiar with it. The knobs do light up. And this one has an oven underneath if you want to do some baking. You'll also see additional storage to the side there. And you have a big drawer underneath. So plenty of room for pots, pans. You have places for trash cans here. I think it did a pretty good job overall. You also see the residential high sense refrigerator. This one does have a dedicated inverter. 
So that way uh, you'll be good. You'll be good while you're traveling down the road. Great thing about a residential is it cools down a lot quicker and it's more efficient. Just do remember that you'll either have to have generator or shore power to have this uh, stay cold for more than a few hours again, unless you are driving. You will also see here you have your barn style door kind of taking a, a residential trend look here with the barn style door. You kind of like the shiplap wall panel there. It's a pretty cute look. Making our way inside. So this is your mid bunk area. Now, uh, some manufacturers call it a mid bunk, some call it a bonus room. Great thing about it is you have additional sleeping. 300 pound weight capacity here on the top bunk. You'll see underneath that you have a jackknife style sofa and you have a third bunk stored underneath that that you can pull out on the floor here. Straight across is an area to hook up a TV, a couple of drawers underneath, and over to the side you see wardrobe storage up top and additional shelving down below. As soon as you walk in, you will see your main controls for your light, slide, awning, tank monitoring panel, and thermostat there. And if you open this up, right up top here, you will see the coat rack. So you can walk right in, hang up your jackets, your sweatshirts, raincoats, whatever it may be. Uh, I do like that they put that in there. So you make your way up the steps. So one of the great things about a mid bunk, and a lot of manufacturers are doing this, is right above is a loft. So again, you have that sleeping space underneath, you have this sofa in the back of the rear living area, plus you have this loft here, so you can sleep a ton of people in this RV, which is one of the reasons I love it. Built-in ladder pulls out, of course, that way you can climb up into that loft. As we walk into the bathroom, you'll see the foot flush lever toilet. It is a porcelain bowl, so it's nice and easy to clean. And as you can see, I have plenty of leg room as well as shoulder room. Right underneath is a cubby hole. You'll also see a heat duct, so that way if it's cold, you can stay nice and toasty. Shelves here, more storage up top, so plenty of room for all of your linens. The shower itself. Now I do have to duck a little bit to get underneath the door, but once I'm in the shower, folks, I'm six foot tall. I have plenty of space. There's a skylight here allowing even more. You can probably be six, five, six, six, not have to duck down in here, which is great. Couple of shelves plus a seat, so that way if you, know, if you need to shave your legs, awesome, or if you need to sit down and shower, you can do that too. Coming right outside, you will see a big sink. I love this because you know a lot of times they put little sinks in your bathroom and as you're washing your hands, you're splashing everywhere, not the case here. Kind of that subway tile backsplash, just a little upgraded look, which I like. Electrical outlet off to the side, a little bit of storage and plumbing access underneath, plus a mirrored medicine cabinet with storage behind that too. As we step into the bedroom, you'll notice right in the center you have a slide out queen bed with storage underneath, nightstands and windows on both sides. You have the cubby holes there and you will also see electrical outlet and USB ports off to the side. In the very nose, you have the second AC right up top here. Do you want to point that out? Notice it does slant down. So just to get, just so you know, to get in the wardrobe, you will have to duck down a little bit. Again, it's six foot tall. You know, in the very front, I do have to duck here because it's not a full profile fifth wheel. But if we take a look inside that wardrobe, you will see excellent shoe storage, washer dryer prep, wardrobe hanging space, additional storage up top, and the beautiful farm doors they put here on the outside. Both of those are mirrored. At the foot of the bed is an additional window, plus you have a dresser with, again, pretty deep drawers here. So not, not super deep uh, this way, but depth, you know, going down, I guess. And uh, right above that is the backer for where you'll mount the TV. And you will also see your connections right up on the ceiling. Now that we've seen the inside, let's take a look at some of the outside features on the 2020 Sabre 36BHQ. Right up front, of course, is your front cap with LED lights. And as we sneak underneath, we'll actually start right here on the outside. You will see that you have auto level on this coach, which is awesome for the price. Of course, you're going to switch for your docking lights and solar prep. Right inside, you will see that this one is prepped for two batteries. Your 1000 watt inverter is located here. That is what helps run that fridge. You have the battery disconnect over there. And as we make our way back out and around, you will see the propane. Now this is one area where I actually feel the, the manufacturer fell short. Um, they have two 20 pound propane tanks as standard. I personally wish they would have given you two 30s or three 20 pound tanks, but for the price for everything else you're getting, honestly, it is still a great value. Opening up the storage, you will see that it has magnetic catches there. 
And if we take a look inside, you'll see how big and open this is. They, they did a good job of putting the plumbing all off to the side, so that way it's not running right down the center here. And as we take, our, uh, take a look back a little bit further, you will see this one also has an outside refrigerator, which I, I love that too, especially on a bunk model. Anytime you can put a fridge in there is always a great thing. You'll notice this one has hookups for TV located here too. The steps on the More, Red, More Ride Step Above system, you have four aluminum steps on here with the grip tape. The aluminum steps are great because they won't rust and you will see the large foldable grab handle for some added control. You also have aluminum alloy wheels on there and you have these little pressure gauges which are pretty handy in my opinion. It's just a nice quick check. If it's green, you're inflated at the proper pressure. You can head out. If it's red, you need to put air in the tire. And seeing as how uh, improper air pressure is the number one reason for tire blowouts, it's good just to make sure you have that quick check. Coming around to the back, you will see propane quick connect so you can hook up a grill. You'll also see a ledge here. So if you buy the grill that can hook up to the side, you can connect it there. And on the very back, you have a square tubular bumper, plus you have the cargo rack, 200 pound weight capacity on here. So you can load up, you know, some wood coolers, things like that. You'll also see your spare tires mounted on the back for easy access, your rear mounted ladder to climb up onto the fully walkable roof and backup camera prep. So if you want a backup camera, having the prep makes it easier to install, meaning it'll save you money on labor. Last thing here on the back end is your 50 amp detachable power cord, which plugs in right there. As we take a look at the convenience center on the off door side, you will see all of your water hookups for both your uh, fresh tank fill and the city fill. The other thing I really love about this is it's easy winterization. You can see you can hook up your antifreeze right here to plump, pump all the glycol through and your water heater bypasses right below it. You can see the winterization system again over here to the side black tank flush there, outside shower, and also your cable and satellite hookups. All right, folks, and that wraps it up. Again, this is the 2020 Sabre 36 BHQ. If you're interested in this mid bunk model and you would like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping. <laughs>